I guess I'm recording. Okay, let's see if I can know. Bag full of dimes. Maybe for my screensaver here. Uh, my pen right in the screen. Probably should have it. Should have it. Other dimes. it was when I was in the other room, but we'll see how it works here. Color fill black, gray, vector, and there's a little tiny bit of color going on here due to piece of pink paper that's sort of next to me here. There's another piece of pink paper over here. <coughs> and a little pink. And there's... This is not going to turn out. I'm just telling you. I can tell right now. But I'm going to draw it anyway just because... because I can... This is a baggie full of dimes that I started drawing earlier today, and I liked the drawings I did there, and I'm thinking, well, I'll do one here for you, but I don't know. I think I might be not... artwork this time. This seam that sort of goes up the bag. Okay, let's get some dimes in here. The dimes have sort of a beige-ish tint to them. I don't quite know why. Are they kind of beigey? Maybe they are beigey. I think it's the light that's reflecting off of them that's making them look beigey. Time that fell out of the out of the bag there. Interesting, the slight colors. No. You see here, see a little bit of blue going on, a little bit of pink, a little bit of yellow.
profile of Franklin D. Oh, my cat's going to come up and join me in a second. And he's going to be saying, why aren't you feeding me? And I will remind him you have food right in your little, not only in your stomach, but you have it in, on your plate. Can you hear him cleansing himself in the background there? look like a bag full of dimes to you. Oh, Kitty's giving me little kisses. Now, the thing that I need to add to make this look like a bag full of dimes is to add more of the bag. Now, some of the bag is reflecting pink of this paper. And the other one is reflecting the bright light through yonder window breaks. Still another light source is this sort of yellowy light that's coming from this lamp above my desk. You also have an opaque kitty, labely kind of a thing that is happening here. It says gripper zipper on it. Gripper zipper. And then up here on the top, no, well, yes, kind of, it's kind of, kind of a yellowy, not that yellowy. That kind of yellowy background. Let's 
It's just amazing what you see when you start looking at your Ziploc bags. All sorts of fun stuff. Heavy dot com. And then up here is the zipper, zipper part of the Ziploc. Kitty, you're in my way. My cat is blocking the, the light. Seam is what I'm drawing here. It goes up the baggy. Occasionally we have things like that. Then we've got little sparkly bits. And there's some more white, or no, there's, I guess it's this color sparkly over here. Drawing anything is kind of fun, but drawing something that really isn't very beautiful to begin with is easier often than drawing something that's really, really beautiful. because then you have to compete with the beauty that it has. It's easier to sort of just find a, something ugly and maybe even ignored and you'll find that your ability to make something beautiful is improved by the fact that you are drawing something that most people haven't even looked at before. And when you do that, you're not dealing with their expectations. Oh, why didn't you make that Fabergé egg as beautiful as it really is? Oh, why did you make that oak tree not as beautiful as it is? No. Why didn't you make it as beautiful as that bag of coins you drew the other day? Well, because the coins you've never seen drawn before. You don't have these expectations. Oh, okay. Kitty, is this what I'm is this what you see too, Orca Orca Doodle? This light is very interesting. It's this pinkish orangey light that's illuminating some of these dimes. And other ones seem to be illuminated by a different kind of light. It's supposed to look like a bunch of dimes. Does it look like a bunch of dimes? Oh, 
I'm going to pretend it does. Kitty, are you going to pretend it does too? To make this background a little bit more yellow. The shadow of the cat is now here that wasn't here before, so we are dealing with a different view than we had originally. Need some more pink up here in this reflection. Kitty. Cat is now gonna go away. He's saying, I've had enough I've had it up to here with you, Mr. Gustafson. Now that he has gone away, I can draw the rest of this tabletop. And there's a little bit of pink reflected right there on that bag. Not quite as much as I showed. Is that it? What do you think, folks? I was thinking this would be a good background for my screensaver sort of a thing. I called it wallpaper. I don't know if I will do that. There's one dime that escaped. I'm just going to show that. It's right here on the side, outside of the bag. What do you think, Kitty? What do you think? I think I'm done. I just keep picking, it's like picking at a scab. Okay, I'm done. Whatever. See ya. How do I make this stop? Come on.